Forex market is a place where currencies such as Euro, Japanese Yen, Australian Dollars are being traded. So what is Forex? How can this investment last for so many years? And why do some people even lose their entire life savings through investing Forex? First of all, we should understand what is currency trading, which refers to the usage of a national currency in exchange of the currency of another country. The size of the exchange will be in accordance with an exchange rate between two currencies. The case is the same as when we travel to another country. Here's an example. Francis wants to travel to Europe, in which case she can get the most out of the exchange when Euro appreciates or depreciates. For example, the rate of Euro and USD is 1.5. 2,000 US dollars can exchange for 1,333 Euro. When Euro depreciates to 1 to 1, then 2,000 US dollars can exchange for 2,000 Euro. Thus, the more Euro depreciates, the cheaper the trip to Europe will be. The 2016 British referendum resulted in Brexit. British pound has depreciated against all major currencies. Buying watches and bags in UK becomes much cheaper. In general, most currencies are priced against USD. For example, Euro to USD. That is called regular currency pairing. If the currency is not rated against US dollars, such as the Canadian dollar against the Japanese yen, it's called currency cross pairing. We can take profit from both bullish and bearish currencies. Say, for example, Francis predicts that the trend of Euro will appreciate against the Canadian dollar, so she can buy, or we say long, Euro to CAD. If she is bullish of Canadian dollar over the Euro, then she can short Euro to CAD. The trends and movement of any currency rates are mostly dominated by fundamental analysis, while technical analysis has short-term impact on Forex. Every national publication of economic data and policies, such as raising or cutting interest rates, monetary policies will affect the forex rates and their trends. There are four benefits of investing in forex market. First, there are lots of tools given to choose when we want to trade forex. There are cash, currency ETFs, leveraged forex, and futures. Second, the foreign exchange market has been held as no bull nor bear markets exist because forex pairing is relative. One goes up, another goes down. Third, forex market operates in 24 hours during the weekdays. The time of investment is really flexible. Four, forex is the largest market in the world. It has the highest liquidity among all trading markets. That's why almost no monopoly pricing will occur, and almost all foreign currencies are aligned with the economic data. So, theoretically, trends are a lot more predictable. These are the advantages of Forex. There are also different kinds of currencies, such as carry trade currencies, hedging currencies, and commodity currencies. So what are they? Example 1. Francis is a professional investor. She looks for a country which offers a low interest rate for loans, such as Japanese yen. She will then borrow the currency from that country and invest in some assets with higher rate of return, such as stocks. However, when there are uncertainties and worries in the market, the investments become risky. Francis will then temporarily return the borrowed yen. The yen will then appreciate. When the whole market has been led to this situation by the same negative thoughts, we call it unwinding. And this kind of low interest currency is called carry trade currency. Example 2. When there are some uncertainties or events happening around the world such as 911, European debt crisis, Brexit, apart from buying Japanese yen, Francis would also transfer her money to countries that are more stable. Swiss France is one of the examples. A Swiss is so-called a neutral country which does not involve too much in the political and economical problems over the world. Therefore, it makes Swiss France a tool to hedge against other market risks. Example 3. Francis also like to invest in some commodity currencies, which means the countries are mainly rely on exporting abundance of commodities. For example, Canada has oil exports, export of gold and copper in Australia, agricultural products in New Zealand. Currencies of such countries are closely related to commodities. When economic data or any fluctuation in commodity prices may bring investing opportunities, and Francis may consider investing in commodity currencies like Canadian, Australian, or New Zealand dollars. When we understand the benefits in investing in Forex, it is possible to design better strategies for your portfolios against all odds coming up in the markets.